Hi, my name is Uriah Ortiz, the owner of Guardian Safe and Lock. And I'm Brandon Gonzalez, one of Guardian Safe and Lock's technicians. And today we're going to discuss two common questions that we get asked. How much does it cost to rekey a cylinder? And is it cheaper to rekey or to change out or replace hardware? Now, when rekeying, the, the price on rekeying cylinders varies a lot depending on whether it's residential, commercial, do you have an existing key, do you not have an existing key, what, what type of uh, hardware it is. Um, but if you're talking about residential hardware, usually it's just a simple knob or a deadbolt. And assuming that you have an existing key, usually it ranges anywhere from on the low, low side to maybe $9.50 per keyhole to rekey it to maybe $13.50 on the higher end. On uh, commercial side, uh, usually you could be dealing with you know commercial grade levers, deadbolts, electronic locks, uh, panic hardware. Um, so the prices vary a lot more on commercial hardware. So if you have an existing key, it's usually somewhere between maybe thirteen fifty to twenty five dollars on the high end to rekey uh, commercial hardware. Um, so that talk, uh, talks about what it costs to to rekey cylinders. Now the other question was, is it cheaper to rekey or change uh, your locks. People use the term change your locks when they really mean basically they're saying replace your locks. So obviously it'd be way more expensive to replace your locks than to rekey. Because rekeying is just a small fee per keyhole. We take it off your door, change the key it operates, and we put it back on the door. And if you're talking about changing the locks, um, go ahead. It would be basically swapping out your old hardware and installing new hardware on the door. And you know you would do that if let's say the color on the hardware fatigues over time or the deadbolt stops functioning or the knob stops functioning as well. It can happen, it just depends on how much time the hardware has been on the door. Right, so the re only reason why you really need to change your locks is if the lock's failing or the finish looks bad and you wanna upgrade the quality or the, uh, the visual look of your locks. But other than that, typically when someone calls us and they're wanting to to uh, change, they typically call us and they want to just change the key that operates their locks. Usually they're going through a divorce or the tenant wants to lock out, I mean the uh, property manager wants to lock out a tenant for not paying a bill or you may just want to rekey your house because too many people, prior house sitters or land, uh, you know, people cut your yard, have keys, and so you just want to change that so they no longer have access to your home. So usually the standard is you rekey your lock, you don't usually change up the hardware unless you, you know, you don't like the way it looks or it's not working. So that answers that. And the next, uh, we'll, we'll talk about later, some of in our other vi uh, videos, we'll talk about uh, other variables when rekeying locks, such as shimming or having to pick open a lock because you don't have existing keys. That increases the cost of rekeying your locks. Other than that, you can follow us on uh, social media. Yes, sir. You can follow us, uh, Guardian Safe and Lock, on Twitter. Instagram, Facebook, uh, even YouTube, and just type up Guardian Safe and Lock and it should pull us right up. We even have blog articles that come out so often that address some of these commonly answered questions. So we'll see you in the next video.